Today's subject is cybersecurity and law. First topic cybercrime. What is cybercrime? Cybercrime, or computer oriented crime, is a crime that involves a computer and a network. Cybercrime is any type of illegal activity that takes place via digital means. Data theft is, of course, one of the most common types of cybercrime, but cybercrime also includes a wide range of malicious activity as well, such as cyberbullying or planting worms or viruses. Cybercrimes can be divided into two distinct categories, those that cause intentional damage and those that cause unintentional damage. In most cases, the damage is financial but not always. Classification of cybercrime First crimes against individuals Second crimes against society Third crimes against property Fourth crimes against organization Complete classification of cybercrime Under against individuals Email Spamming Cyber defamation Harassment cyber stalking Under against property Credit card fraud Intellectual property crimes Internal time theft Under against organization Unauthorized access of computers Denial of service Virus attack Email bombing Salami attack Logic bomb Trojan horse Data dialing Under against societies Forgery Cyber terrorism Webjacking First crimes against individuals Email spoofing for example, consider three persons connected in a network with systems. Alice, Bob, and Charlie. If Alice's computer get infected by malware, the malware collects email addresses of Bob and Charlie. The malware sends email to Charlie forging email address of Bob. It is formation of email messages by impersonating correspondent identity. Origin different from which actually it originates. Spoofing is when someone or something pretends to be something else in an attempt to gain our confidence. Get access to a system, steal data, or spread malware. Although most spoofed emails can be easily detected and require little action other than deletion. The more malicious varieties can cause serious problems and pose security risks. For example, a spoofed email may pretend to be from a well-known shopping website. Asking the recipient to provide sensitive data such as a password or credit card number. Alternatively, a spoofed email may include a link that installs malware on the recipient's device if clicked. One type of spear phishing attack used in business email compromises involves spoofing emails. From the CEO or CFO of a company requesting a wire transfer or internal system access credentials. Email spamming. A person get junk mail fake email. Send with a web link or business proposal. Senders of this electronic mail are always unidentified. It happened by clicking link or replying to commercial offer sent to a phishing website or a setup of malware. Spam email is unsolicited and unwanted junk email. Sent out in bulk to an indiscriminate recipient list. Typically, spam is sent for commercial purposes. It can be sent in massive volume by botnets. Networks of infected computers. Often, spam email is sent for commercial purposes. While some people view it as unethical. Many businesses still use spam. The cost per email is incredibly low, and businesses can send out mass quantities consistently. Spam email can also be a malicious attempt to gain access to your computer. Cyber defamation. It is act of imputing any individual with intention to lower the person. To be ignored or side, stepped. Rendering him to hate disrespect or ridicule. It includes rumors, teasing, Gossiping and harassment of a person which done online. Cyber defamation is like conventional defamation. Except involvement of a virtual medium. The term defamation. Is used to define the injury that is. Caused to the reputation of a person in the eyes. Of a third person. The injury can be done by words oral or written. Or by signs or by visible representations. The intention of the person making the defamatory statement must be to lower the reputation of the person against whom the statement has been made in the eyes of the general public. Cyber defamation is a new concept but the traditional definition of the term defamation is application to the cyber defamation as it involves defamation of a person through a new and a virtual medium. Cyber defamation is publishing of defamatory material against another person 
with the help of computers or internet. Cyberstalking is stalking that takes place using any electronic devices or the internet. It is the technological harassment directed towards a specific individual. Like following a person's movements across the internet. Posting threatening messages on the bulletin boards. Frequented by victim. Entering chat rooms visited by the victim. Continually attacking the victim with emails. There are several forms of cyberstalking that can take place including placing orders for delivery in someone else's name, gathering personal information on the victim, spreading false rumors, encouraging others to join in the harassment, threatening harm through email, creating fear and paranoia for someone else, hacking into online accounts. In next video we will see cybercrime against property. Thanks for watching.